if you have uh, like one only one sentence, what would you say to the world now? Please give us as much weapon as possible for us to stop Russian and to win the war and to make the whole world happier place. <laughs> The story about uh, our performance in Georgia in this festival started very early. We were invited uh, like at the beginning of the war and we refused. And then uh, we made, a, mm, let's say, uh, an agreement that uh, maybe in May, if things uh, change somehow, we will, uh, we will change our mind, we will come. And actually the war is still there and certainly it's very brutal, but one thing I, I realized is very important then uh, now uh, the very important task, not uh, less important than, than just being in the country supporting the troops and, and those who suffer, is also to go abroad and spread word about what's going on in Ukraine, about the war, about the atrocities Russia is, is doing, and certainly about the future of Ukrainians and, and inspire people. So we decided to start touring uh, and we decided to go to different places, including uh, Tbilisi. And so actually we are very happy to be here. <laughs> We play after the big war started in our country. And we came to the country of our brothers. And One thing I'm sure is uh, you don't turn these concerts into mornings. Uh, you need to turn them into uh, inspiration, you know. It should be an inspiration and it should be more about present and future than about past. The first day, the first day, it was always, it is always, you know, very chaotic and emotionally unstable. Sometimes I compare all these four months with uh, just one day, a long day that started on uh, in the morning on 24th and still is not over. We didn't want this war and we didn't start it, but we will win this war. As soon as Russia is, stops f fighting and takes their troops away, we are ready to talk. I'm not officially a representative of Ukraine, but I assume that's what Ukrainian people say. First, stop fighting, and then um, take your troops back home, and then let's decide what future will you see for yourself and for your neighbor Ukraine. And we will say, and we'll see, and we will find some room for negotiations, but not be, not before that. You cannot talk while somebody who you talk with is killing your people and is destroying your country.